Hello friends, welcome back. This week we're talking about how can bodily eating and drinking do such great things? Jesus gives life. If you look at your catechesis cards, it'll say that. How can bodily eating and drinking do such great things? Certainly not just eating and drinking do these things, but the words written here. God's word. Given and shed for you for the forgiveness of sins. These words, along with the eating and drinking, are the main parts of the Lord's Supper. Whoever believes these words has exactly what they say, forgiveness of sins. We want to remember that through God's word, that Jesus gives us faith to believe that he heals all of our illnesses, body and soul. Because his words do what they say. I know and we know that we can trust and receive forgiveness of sins through the Lord's Supper. Now, our story this week comes from Mark chapter 5. We're going to hear just how Jesus gives life. Jairus was a man living in the town of Capernaum where Jesus was staying. When his daughter became very, very ill, he knew where to go for help. Jarius hurried to find Jesus. Please come quickly. My little girl is very sick. I know you can make him better, he had said. They were walking to Jarius' house when someone came to tell them that it was too late. His little girl had died. It was no use in Jesus going now, but Jesus kept walking. A crowd followed to see what he would do. When Jesus got to Jairus' house, everyone was crying. The little girl was only 12 years old, and they were all very sad. Jesus went into the room where the little girl lay dead. He took her by the hand and said, Little girl, I say to you, get up. And just like that, the girl sat up straight away. She was alive. Jesus said, give her something to eat. And it was truly a miracle. Jairus had seen Jesus make his dead daughter come alive again. Only Jesus could do such a miracle. Will you fold your hands and pray with me? Heavenly Father, Thank you for the gift of faith you give us through your word and through holy baptism. We receive your promises of forgiveness of sins, eternal life, and a home in heaven through the faith you give us. You give people faith to receive your promises of healing from sin and rescue from the eternal death in the Lord's Supper. We rejoice that Jesus has earned this healing and rescue for us through his death and resurrection. By the power of the Holy Spirit, may our faith in you continue to grow stronger throughout our lives. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So now you're going to get your uh, picture of the altar out. And we're going to add uh, March 14th. Jesus gives life. And the thing that we want to also keep in mind is he spoke to her. He said, little girl, get up. Those words, those words brought her back. And so in the Lord's Supper, we receive forgiveness of sins and um, all of our blessings through both him being the body and blood present, but the words spoken, given and shed for you. That's all for this week. We'll see you again soon.